Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 12, 2020. Welcome to the Clucker and Classroom. So we are working our way through our final letter book. We have gone through all the alphabet and we are to letter Z. So today we're going to be going somewhere very special that starts with the Z, Z sound. Anybody got any ideas? Do you remember one of the words that we learned yesterday that began with Z is zoo, zoo. So I want you to open your letter book to pages four and five. I'm going to back up a little bit so we can see the whole picture. You'll need to be looking at both pages. You're going to look at four and five. You'll notice at the top we have our start right lines. You'll see the red, yellow, green. We have the same at the bottom of the page, red, yellow, green. What you're going to be doing is writing an uppercase and a lowercase letter, space, uppercase, lowercase, space. Don't forget when we um, move over that we need to space. Your uppercase and lowercase will stand side by side and then you'll add a space. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a visit around the zoo and see how many animals we can find. As we find those animals, we're going to write upper and lowercase letters to represent the beginning sound of that animal's name. This is a review of all the letters we learned. So we're, they've already given us one, and it's K, and you'll remember K makes K, K. So we see right there, there's a kangaroo. So that is our, where our starting point is. So we're gonna do uppercase and lowercase K, and they've been so nice because they gave you one, and all you have to do is trace it. All right, we're gonna move across like we're walking across the bridge. And as we move, we're going to write upper and lowercase letters for every animal that we see. So after we leave the kangaroo, we see the ostrich. Ostrich. So what letter does ostrich start with? O. Oh. Yeah, your mouth makes the shape of that letter. O. Oh. So you're going to space over and you're going to write uppercase and lowercase O. Oh. All right, as we continue on, this animal has a trunk and really large ears. It's an elephant, eh, eh, elephant. So what letter says eh, eh? Right, E. So we're gonna space and write uppercase and lowercase E. You wanna kinda write a little bit small because we've got to get all our letters on here. All right, we're gonna move over. There's the zebra. We just learned how to write Z. So you're gonna write uppercase and lowercase Z. And you're gonna leave a little bit of space. Monkey, mmm, what letter says Mm. You're going to write upper and lower case. M, all right. Mm. All right, we're going to leave the monkeys and we come over here and it's the gorilla. Do you remember this signal? G, g. So upper and lower case G, 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 gorilla. Now we're over to the lion. Oh, oh. So we're going to write upper and lower case L and leave a little bit of space. Hippo. Hippo, uppercase and lowercase h. Here's our last one up here. Alligator, a, ah, a, ah. upper and lowercase a. All right, I want you to come back here because we'll remember we're always working left to right. First thing we see is camel, k, k. What letter says k is c, uppercase and lowercase c for camel. C is followed by a. Remember our cat and kite that we made? to remember whether you C or K. So camel starts with C, uppercase and lowercase C. All right, you're gonna miss this creature if you don't look very closely. Right there is an inchworm. I, 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 upper and lowercase I. Bear, b, b, bear. Upper and lowercase B, remember bat and then baseball. We're gonna move over and here is a raccoon. R, r. Upper and lowercase r. Look behind the tree. What do you see? There's a deer. D, d. Upper and lowercase d. And you're going to move right here for turtle. T, t. Upper and lowercase t. Anybody know what that creature is? It's a walrus. So w, w, w. Upper and lowercase w. Seal. What letter makes that sound like a snake? S. S. We're going to do upper and lowercase s. 
The last animal that we'll see on our trip to the zoo is a penguin. P, P, penguin. Upper and lowercase p. Make sure you do great with your letter formation. Remember, two space between the pair of upper and lowercase. So you'll do upper and lowercase, space, upper and lowercase, space. See if you can write all of those letters and review all those sounds that we have learned thus far. All right, once you complete that, you'll give yourself a check, and you're going to turn over to page six, and you'll notice we have some zebras at the top of our page. A lot of times, we have a difficulty differentiating between Z and S. Z says Z, Z and S says S, S. See how my teeth are together with both those sounds? Very easy to confuse them. So, what we're going to practice up here I'm going to give you a word. If it begins with Z, you're going to write lowercase z. If it begins with S, you're going to write lowercase s. And they were so nice to give you the first two. So the first word is zoo. Zoo. And of course that begins with Z, so you're going to do lowercase z in the first box. Now we're moving over to the orange zebra. And the word is sailboat. Did you see that two-syllable word? Sailboat. It's also a compound word, sail and boat. So we're going to write S there for sail. The yellow zebra is sun, s, s, that's S. The green zebra is zillion, zillion, a Z, z, zillion. All right, we're moving over to the blue. The word is socks, socks, S, lowercase s. All right, now we're moving over to the purple zebra, and it's sink. S, s. I didn't say z, I said s, so s for sink. Okay, now we're going to move down to the boxes right here. This is another listening game that we'll play, and you'll notice there are several words in each box. We're going to look at the words. I'm going to give you a word, and you have to circle the word that I give you, okay? So in the first one, we have some red words right here, and the words are vet, v, et, vet, wet, w, et, wet. You can tap them with me if you want to. P, et, pet. So it's vet, wet, or pet. I want you to read the words and circle the word wet, wet. All right, let's move over to our orange words. It's s, it. CK rule, CK comes at the end of a word after a short vowel's heard, sick. Here's our next one. QU says qua, qua, ack, quack, t, r, uck, truck. So we've got sick, quack, or truck. Read the words and circle the word truck. Listen for those beginning sounds, truck. All right, moving over to our yellow words. The first one is n -x -t, next. The next one is b -s -t, best. And the last one is t -t, tent. So we've got next, best, and tent. I want you to circle the word nest. Next. Sorry, next. What is your beginning sound in next? Mm, mm. So look at those words and find the word next and circle it. All right, now we're moving over to our green words. And our words are h-am. You hear that welded sound, a-m. A-m says am. A-n says an. So we've got h-am, j-am, and m-an. Welded sounds at the ends of those words. Read those words and circle the word ham. Now we're coming down here to the blue words. Buzz. 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 Fuzz. Qua is. So we've got buzz. We've got fuzz. And we've got qua is. Quiz. I want you to read those and circle the word fuzz, fuzz. All right, we're moving over to the purple words. Our words here are d, 
hot dot but et bet t op top so we've got dot bet and top i want you to circle the word bet b et bet all right let's move over to our pink words our first word is y s remember we were doing yes and no the other day this is yes next one is y l there's the f l s and z rule f l s and z double double short vowel you see that's why we have two l's y l last one is y et so we have yes yell and yet i want you to circle the word yes last one brown words all right the first one is f ox remember x says x f ox Next word is ox, and the last one is b ox. You'll notice those all in an ox, right? All right, so I want you to circle the word box. Once you've done that, you can give yourself a check and have a great afternoon, and I'll see you tomorrow.